I live in a desert, so the only things getting plowed around here are mud flows and brewer neighbors. But I enjoy machinery and haven't plowed any snow since a loaded truck meant one with AC and a CD player, so I jumped at the chance for a plow primer in a Ram HD on a Canadian airfield. Running a plow is like welding, the basics come quickly but experience pays dividends. The first thing to deal with is a frequently changing horizon because, stout as they are, even three-quarter ton heavy-duty trucks will move up and down in front considerably with a 600 to 800 pound plow hanging off, and fast plow hydraulics rival some low riders for bounce effect. Getting going is easy unless you forgot blocks and the plow froze to the ground, rookie. If you have to drive to your plowing assignment, blade height needs some experimentation to find the best cooling airflow. If you think sub-freezing temperatures negate that concern, remember you've installed what amounts to a 20 square foot air break up front that the truck has to overcome, and blowing snow could block some cooling air passages. Whether it's a straight blade or V design, always have it tilted to the right lest you catch a hidden post, solid mailbox, or edge of a snow bank. Most plow operators I spoke to rarely exceed 45 miles per hour in transit because of cooling, front suspension travel, and common sense, and you should go even slower if you don't have some ballast like chains, extra fuel tanks, or a salt spreader to balance the load on the back. With trucks relatively slow steering and all that weight up high, oversteer is best avoided, 